Hello everyone, this is uh, Data Dawn. Welcome uh, to my video on what is MongoDB. Uh, MongoDB uh, is like a NoSQL database uh, which is very popular these days and which is highly uh, seek to uh, in these areas. So we are going to talk about that in five minutes. Um, so this is the agenda for today's uh, five minute presentation. We will just introduce you to Tengen is the company which created it. And we just compare uh, MUMS, which is uh, an older uh, document database, on to MongoDB. MongoDB uh, was built for electronic records. Okay, and we we'll get a small introdu introduction, and we'll see how the architecture is and how the security is implemented. Okay. So Tengen is like a company uh, which created the MongoDB. Uh, it was founded in 2007 by uh, these people mentioned here. And it got like 73 million plus in funding itself. Okay, so it's a worldwide expanding team. They are like uh, 140 plus employees as of today. Okay, so so they set the direction to contribute code to MongoDB. So MongoDB is like an open source uh, system, so anyone can contribute to it. Okay. So MongoDB community and the ecosystem are expanding. So more and more user are uh, attracted attracted towards this MongoDB, and people started contributing towards this project. Uh, there are like 42 MongoDB uh, user groups, and 9,000 people participated in uh, 23 MongoDB uh, days, which is like a conference held in 2011. So also people started uh, offering that as a service, like infrastructure as a service and platform as a service. Uh, MongoDB database as a service offerings are also available. So business intelligence, security, and Hadoop integration solutions offered by partners. Okay. So that's what about the MongoDB community. So this is uh, some of the of services offered by Tengen. Okay, they offer service uh, subscription, consulting, and training for the developers and administrators. Okay. So let's get a quick uh, 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 view on like what is the demand for MongoDB skills. So as you can see, it is like a number two on Indeed's uh, fastest growing jobs. So as in uh, many people are using MongoDB nowadays. So it is like in a uh, second position in Indeed, and it is also uh, most popular uh, one of the most popular big data sources. Okay. So it is uh, using NoSQL uh, database uh, engine. Okay. So there are a lot of uh, Google searches and there are a lot of uh, user groups of MongoDB. Okay. So this is slide talks about like a, a comparison between MOMS and MongoDB. MOMS uh, MOMS is like another document related database. It is very uh, expensive to maintain and it is very time consuming and up new. It was created like in uh, in early 1960s, okay, and it has like C predicates. Okay. It's very difficult to integrate with new solutions and technology because it's very old. Whereas MongoDB was created in 2009, it is also document oriented. Uh, it is uh, designed with no SQL theory, so you don't need uh, to have to write a complex queries, stored procedures, etc. It was an open source technology, so it's, it's pretty much open. Uh, there are a lot of people contributing it, so a lot of innovation, and it is cost effective, and it is very uh, cheaper. I mean, compared to MUMS, I mean, it is a hot technology. As of now, I mean, there are a lot of buses around it. Uh, so a lot of people are attracted towards this uh, NoSQL uh, concept. Okay, and uh, we can easily find find the uh, resources with MongoDB skill because it's it's uh, open source uh, uh, system. So it is built from ground up for cloud computing architecture. Okay, so it's relatively new, which was created in 2009. So it was built uh, with uh, having all the future in mind. So it is very uh, flexible uh, uh, to any operating system or any new technology. Why MongoDB was for electronic records? MongoDB was uh, created for electronic records uh, for EDI transaction. It was created by uh, Tengen and uh, another uh, company called Oshara, uh, uh, who maintains the healthcare records. So they often uh, interchange the data between uh, different entities uh, using EDI. So so they they have the HL7 EDI, Mark, Modes, and DDMS. 
so electronic uh, records are uh, document oriented in nature like you see uh, we have a lot of xmls and nowadays it's all json free text and even binary okay so so that's why we, when you deal with lot of uh, data uh, with the data data uh, documents so mongodb is the best choice for you okay and it is constantly evolving uh, to support all the business cases uh, like various versions were released and volume and veracity often and big data scale so if you have a data with huge documents number of documents and it comes in very fast velocity to your uh, application you can use the mongodb so this is just an example of uh, json uh, in excel 7 okay mongodb was uh, created uh, uh, with uh, to to make uh, easy to code scale and manage you don't need to worry about lot of indexes performance tuning and things like that you know it's all taken care uh, by of by, by the mongodb itself so it's very agile and it's very scalable so when your application grows in size you can just keep on adding nodes to your mongodb cluster okay you can scale horizontally over commodity hardware okay um you can have the ad hoc queries fully featured indexes secondary indexes um so we don't uh, we will have a local storage first class citizen for db storage so these are like different assumptions of mongodb okay so mongodb is uh, for general purpose it has rich data model fully featured indexes sophisticated query language you can use it like an sql though they say it is a no sql databases you can write sql and retrieve and uh, add data uh, it is very easy to use you don't have to worry about lot of indexes it's all taken care we have like very it is very object oriented uh, it has drivers native language drivers uh, uh, it, uh, are available for supporting various uh, languages like java visual c++ c++ so it is very simple to set up and manage you don't need to have like a uh, lot of uh, 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 you know resources to set this up it is very fast and scalable it, it operates in in memory uh, speed where is possible and there is uh, auto sharding built in it is very uh, uh, you know you can just add and remove nodes without uh, downtime okay so if you want to increase the increase or decrease the scalability of this mongodb you can just do it without uh, a downtime that is called hot swap okay so mongodb is very easy to use this uh, picture shows you like uh, in traditional database engine you need to have data model set up refined by data modeler we need to create uh, data models physical data models and implement it whereas in mongodb we don't need the schemas because it's a schemaless so you can just keep on adding all your uh, attributes it's all stored in key value pairs okay so you can just keep on adding your name attribute email and so that's that's very uh, uh, good feature of mongodb it is not a relational database that is a very good factor and it is very awesome that is true so you can see like how simple it is to you know uh, insert a uh, uh, insert records into mongodb compared to a traditional mysql database so you need a start transaction end transaction commit insert and all the syntax you need to maintain as whereas in mongodb it is very simple single statement you can see it is just an object oriented uh, uh, written in object oriented fashion okay uh mongodb increases developer productivity because developer does not have to think about lot of uh, indexes primary key distribution things like that mongodb encapsulates everything and gives you an abstract layer so that you can build your program on top of it you don't have to worry too much about what is uh, and uh, uh, what is going on with the database storage and things like that it is schema free like i said before you need you don't need to you know uh, develop a uh, uh, physical data model logical data models and things like that you can just keep on yeah, add the columns delete the columns so there is no structure predefined structure you can just store any number of documents okay every document could have different data in the same database mongodb is very fast and scalable as i said before you can see in this picture the first picture shows you uh, how mongodb stores the document whereas in relational database you need to keep on purge the data 
to reclaim the database the database space so whereas in uh, mongodb we just utilize the full space before adding a new node and it also uses in memory caching so that the query results are uh, returned to you uh, very in a faster you have a faster query response time and uh, it is as a distributed architecture you can have any number of nodes uh, which supports a high availability okay so you can have a replication in high availability you can horizontally scale it. security uh, when it comes to security it uses ssl between the clients and servers uh, so there is like authorization at database level a security node map so they, they are like lot of road maps they are auditing call level security etc so security you don't have to worry about uh, uh, mongodb since it's open source all the bugs are identified and fixed pretty much but there, there are a lot of roadmap uh, they are going to have pluggable authentication auditing cell level security so these are the uh, features that is coming in the forthcoming version so mongodb is no sql a popular development for de deployment data center application mongodb makes its code easy to code scale and operate operate node you don't need to write like 300 lines of query to execute on it and tenjin is the company behind Mon mongodb MongoDB is like an open source, so it is very cheap. You can even download and install in your machine and play with it. Uh, Tengen are experts in database technology. And so this is how uh, Tengen and Oshara, they joined together and created a, a MongoDB. So it is basically just to store the data uh, documents uh, in a very uh, effective manner. That's where it is. Uh, thank you guys. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe for more uh, videos on MongoDB usage and uh, other uh, things. Thank you very much. Bye.